Tara Jacobson, Marketing Art Flea, and today we're going to talk about how to do affiliate marketing if you are a regular, plain old wedding services provider. So this started with a gal who does ballroom dancing, right? She has a ballroom dancing studio in Littleton, Colorado, and she was like, as a service provider, how am I going to do affiliate marketing? And so I went and looked at her site. I'll put a link to it below. And it was, uh, she did wedding dances, taught how to do wedding dances. She did other things like she did um, dances, real life fairy, no fairy, no princess dances. And she could do a whole affiliate store with that. But today we're going to talk about the wedding industry and how you can do affiliate marketing. So we're going to look at Amazon Associates. This is a little account I have. Um, this is $20. So a couple days this week, I made $20. A couple days this week, I made $17. A bunch, I made $10. Um, but it does. It adds up over time. And so this is definitely something that can be an alternate revenue source for your business. And what you want to do is you want to come, once you're signed up as an Amazon Associate, you want to come over to here and say, manage my storefront. Okay, and then you're gonna have a, um, a storefront. So this is a picture of my daughter. I have this one set up as kind of a fun, artsy fartsy life, things like that. You have your name and your tagline, but then you wanna come in here to your store and you wanna start adding stuff. So I have a list of shipping supplies. This is really cool. I refer this uh, people to this a lot in my um, shipping supplies posts. And the reason why it's so good is that you are not linking to a specific affiliate product, which you cannot do in email, you cannot do on a private Facebook group, but you're linking to your store. So it looks like maybe this is out of stock, but if somebody were to click that, currently unavailable, so if somebody were to click that and go buy something else, I would still get credit for that sale, okay? And you get a very little bit. It's between 1% and 3% credit on Amazon right now. But this is the way that you do it. So I would go back to, remember we were going to, I made you guys a wedding list, so now i got to fill it out, right? So we're going to go back here. We're going to go back to my store. I'm going to say, okay, I need to start putting things in my wedding stuff, right? And this is edit list. Now you're going to search for wedding, just wedding, right? And you're going to start to get some cool things. You're going to get to get labels. So I'm going to say add those labels. Oops. Now I suggest you, you want to push the little plus button. And that adds it to your store. Now, I suggest you want to have a theme. Like, I'm just making all kinds of stuff that you could use for weddings. But I would want to have a theme. Like, all favors or all decorations or all signs or all something. Rather than just kind of this willy-nilly thing that I'm doing. But you would set up different sections of your store. You, As a wedding provider, you may even have favors. You may have, um, oh, this is cute. You may have dresses, you may have shoes, you may have hair bows, you may have all these different things that you put into different sections of your store. All right, let's get a couple more things because I don't want it to look too dorky. Oh, that's fancy. Those are cute. And then you just add stuff, right? And now all of a sudden I have a little storefront full of stuff that people could buy and you can put a ton of stuff in here. Let's just make sure there's no save. So now when we go to my store, there are products in my wedding stuff store. Products in my shipping supplies. I love pens and highlighters. So this is why I list this as number one in my post about how to do affiliate marketing for wedding uh, service providers because this is the absolute easiest. The next one we're going to talk about is share a sale. I love share a sale. 
So what you want to do is you want to say, uh, sign up for share a sale. There's a link right there. You can go to marketingartfully.com forward slash share sale. And you would look up merchants. Now you can do a keyword search. And if you do a keyword search on wedding, nope, I don't want wedding paper divas. I just want wedding. Wedding, plain old wedding. Wedding right there. Go. You're going to see that in share a sale, there are over 60 different vendors that are have products available for you to do. Okay, so now you have My Wedding Favors, uh, Sticker Store, Wedding Collectibles, Rent My Wedding, uh, Nearly Newlywed, Consignment Wedding Dresses, neat. Um, Aspen Brands, Kate and Pen, all kinds of different wedding things. So there, so what you can do is you can look and you could see, so these guys are offering 5% per sale, 8% per sale. So don't forget before we were looking at Amazon that was one to 3%. Now we're getting up into a little bit better percentage of a sale. The difference between this and Amazon is you have to sign up for each program, right? You have to join each program and request them to join. They're going to ask you some stuff about your website. You have to have a website. Or you could maybe have a really huge Instagram account, but they really want to know where you're going to be putting their links. They don't want spammers, so they're going to ask you to really have a good way to do it. And then once you get approved by one of your um, things, I have a whole bunch of them, so I love this one, so readers.com. And I got that because I have to have readers because I'm, I'm, well, I think I have some of their readers on my head right now. And they have banners that I can use. I could use this in a blog post. I could use this in my sidebar. They have text links that I could send out in an email. Save 15 to get 15% off reading glasses. If somebody asks what where my favorite folding reader glasses are, I could say it's these ones. Um, so Share a Sale is my favorite. I feel like they paid the highest commissions and they also have the highest quality um, vendors that you can use. So that's a good one to do. And then the last one I'm going to talk to you about today is Click, ClickBank. And I did a search for wedding on ClickBank. Now ClickBank is all digital products as opposed to physical products. And there are create your own wedding flowers. If you click on this, it's going to take you to the website of that, um, the sales site of it, right? So create your own wedding flowers. You can see kind of what the things are about, if it would be a good fit, uh, the guarantee, things like that. Then you can look over here and you could see the um, average sale, percentage of average, you get 60%, good home and water, no, uh, no real data found for this. The average sale, they don't know. This one, the average sale is $18 and the average percentage is 75%. So the reason why the percentages are so much higher on ClickBank than they are for um, real physical products on Share Sale or, or Amazon is there's no cost to digital products. And you may even find something that's 100% and you're like, that doesn't seem right. Why would they give me 100% of that for sale? Why? Um, the reason why is they're trying to grow an email list and they want affiliates to promote their stuff so that they can grow an email list knowing that they have. Uh, so if we look down here at the wedding MC joke book, right? Okay. Oh, they don't have it anymore. So I wouldn't promote that one. You always want to click all the links, but I was already here. Um, boop, boop, boop. Wedding speeches for all. I saw one that was wedding dances. Okay, let's go to crochet made easy. Okay, so say they gave you 100%, but they have a monthly crochet program. They have a crochet book. They're going to get you on their list, and then they're going to market to you forever. So they don't mind paying you a ton of money up front because they're going to have that client forever. All right, so that's how I would get started with your wedding affiliate for affiliate marketing for wedding service providers. Hopefully, Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.